students welcome to s dot math guru classes now our discussion is total differentiation so last video is solve some problems now we consider the remaining problems these are very easy very interesting very nice whether you can believe or not but i know these are very easy and if you are enjoying with me this type of mathematics then please like this video if you are new in my channel then please subscribe my channel for getting new new videos at the very beginning and click the bell icon now let us consider one problem if u equal to u of y minus x by x y z minus x by x z show that x square del u del x plus y square del u del y plus z square del u del z equal to zero now let us consider this problem solution is start we consider r equal to r equal to y minus x by x y and s equal to z minus x by x z we consider this one r this one s so this implies y by x y minus x by x y and this will be cancel 1 by x 1 by y this is r and here also you can write z by x z x by x z 1 by x 1 by z this is s we get this just a simplify this now we start our problem first we consider del r del x del r del x we get 1 by x minus 1 by y and this will be minus 1 by x square minus 0 this is minus 1 by x square because we know this formula we know this formula d dx of 1 by x to the power n minus n by x to the power n plus 1 and d dx of 1 by x this power is 1 then minus 1 by x to the power 1 plus 1 minus 1 by x square directly i have written this result and y is constant because we differentiate partially with respect to x then this is 0 del r del y if we differentiate this del r del y then we get del del y r r means 1 by x minus 1 by y this is 0 this is minus 1 by y square by using this formula we get this 1 by y square we get now del r del z because here variables are x y z given we taking this del r del z then this will be r means 1 by x minus 1 by y all of this constant because differential partially we take respect to z then this is 0 we get this one 0 similarly we differentiate this del s del x del del x 1 by x 1 by z this is minus 1 by x square minus 0 minus 1 by x square so del s del y this will be del del y s means 1 by x minus 1 by z this is 0 minus 0 this 1 0 then del s del z del del z s s means 1 by x minus 1 by z this is 0 minus minus 1 by z square this will be 1 by z square again so these are the values we get so what we get 
del r del x equal to minus 1 by x square del r del y equal to 1 by y square and del r del z equal to 0 we get this and similarly here we get del s del x equal to minus 1 by x square del s del y equal to 0 del s del z equal to minus uh, plus 1 by z square we get this one now our requirement del u del x del u del y del u del z now we want to find one by one now del u del x by using same rule this is del r in total differentiation del r del x del u del s del s del x we get this so this is del u del r and del r del x del r del x we know this is minus 1 by x square this is 1 by x square del u del s del s del x del s del x minus 1 by x square so this is minus 1 by x square this one del u del x so multiplying both side by x square we get x square del u del x minus del u del r minus del u del s we get this one next we find this one del u del y del u del y again in total differentiation using same rule del u del r del r del y plus del u del s del s del y del u del r del r del y del r del y is minus 1 by y square del u del s del s del y del s del y we get 0 this one 0 so we multiplying both side by y square y square del u del y this is del u del r this will be 0 no need to write so we get this now last one del u del z del u del z del u del r del r del z del u del s del s del z in total differentiation we write the same rule so del u del r del r del z del r del z is 0 del u del s del s del z this is 1 by z square and this one multiplying both side by z square z square del u del z equal to del u del s so we consider this is number one this is number two and this is number three one two three we consider now we adding this three because in our answer x square del u del x y square del u del y z square del u del z so if we adding this three we get this left hand side now we write in short form one plus two plus three implies in one left hand side del x square del u del x and two left hand side y square del u del y 3 z square del u del z equal to in one right hand side minus del u del r del u del s and 2 right hand side del u del r and 3 right hand side del u 
del s we get this one now these are like term this will be cancel this will be cancel we get zero so finally what we get x square del u del x y square del u del y z square del u del z equal to 0 and this is our right hand side and this is the proof short we have to prove this so this is our complete solution of the given problem now another problem we consider this is also mosti problem very interesting very nice uh, if u equal to f of x square plus 2 y z y square plus 2 x z then find the value of y square minus x z del u del x x square minus y z del u del y plus z square minus x del u del z what is the value of this now solution so here we consider let r equal to x square plus 2yz and s equal to y square plus 2xz. So first we find del u del x, this one. In total differentiation, del u del x, this is del u del r, del r, del x plus del u del s del s del x we get this and this will be del u del r del del x r r means x square plus 2yz del u del s del del x s s means y square plus 2xz this one this one del u del r this is twice x plus 0 del u del s this is 0 plus twice z because we differentiate partially with respect to x y is constant z is constant 2z outside and del del x of y square 0 so this will be twice x del u del r twice z del u del s we get this one next our requirement del u del y del u del y equal to del u del r del r del y del u del s del s del y and del u del r del r del y del del y r r means x square plus 2 y z del u del s del del y s s means y square plus 2 x z so this will be del u del r this is 0 2 z we differentiate partially with respect to y then y is variable others constant this is constant 2z constant del y del y 1 and this is del u del s twice y plus 0 because we differentiate partially with respect to y this is twice y this is 0 so this will be 2z del u del r 2y del u del s we get this one next our requirement already we find del u del s del u del y next our requirement del u del z now del u del z we have to find del u del r del r del z plus del u 
del s del s del z we get this and this will be del u del r remains same and del del z r r means x square plus y z x square plus 2 y z and del u del s del del z s y square plus 2 x z we get this this is del u del r this one zero this is twice y because we differentiate partially with respect to z this is zero and twice y constant outside del z del z one del u del s and this is zero plus twice x now finally we get del u del z equal to twice y del u del r twice x del u del s we get this one this is the value of del u del x is this one uh, del u del x we get this one del u del y this one and del u del z this one now putting this value here del u del x del u del y del u del z putting here we get some answer now we consider this one now y square minus x z del u del x x square minus y z del u del y z square minus x y del u del z this one and this will be y square minus x z del u del x del u del x we know this value this is twice x del u del r twice z del u del s plus x square minus y z del u del y del u del y is this value twice z del u del r twice y del u del s like the last one is z square minus x y and this value del u del z is this one twice y this twice x del u del s so there are students this line is clear just we putting this value uh, this one this one this one remains same we putting del u del x below this del u del y is this and del u del z is this just we putting this value next calculation now calculation is y square minus x z multiplying with this with this this one multiplying with this with this and this one multiplying with this with this then in this term we get first we consider first 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 del r uh, del u del r common then we get this will be y square minus x z twice x and this next x square minus y z 2z z square minus xy 2y and we consider del u del r common we can write details also but it is better to write in this way and next we consider second term second term this into this this into this this into this and at that time we get del u del s common then we get uh, i want to write from here this is 
वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स जेट इंटू टॉइस जेट प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई जेट इंटू टॉइस वाई जस्ट इट टेकिंग द सेकेंड टर्म देन जेट स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई इंटू टॉइस एक्स डेल यू डेल एस Now what we get? We multiply with this, multiplying this, multiplying this, and del u del are common. We get this one two x y square, two x square z, two x square z minus two y z square, two y z square two x y square. This is del u del r plus. Next this one two y square z two x z square two x square y two y square z and two x z square two x square y. Two x square y, and this will be del u del s. We get this. Now x y square x y square. These two are cancel. Two x square z two x square z. These are plus minus symbol cancel, and these two are also cancel. Two y square z this. This two are cancel. Two x z square. This two are cancel, and these are cancel. Then whole family members are cancel. So zero into del u del r. Ah, uh, this will be zero directly zero. You can zero into del u del r. Zero into del u del s. Ultimately, we get zero. So what is the value? They are four. Uh, y square minus x z del u del x plus x square minus y z del u del y plus uh, z square minus x y del u del u. Del z equal to zero. We get zero answer. Answer is zero. This our answer. So these are very easy solution. No confusion, no doubts. So these are very easy. This solution are very easy, very interesting. I hope you are all enjoying with me. If you are all enjoying, then please like this video. If you are new and new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel, click the bell icon. Thank you.